I've decided to tackle a subject which I should have put to bed a long time ago, that being the supposed megalithic polygonal walling. I'm not presenting any of the bulging uh, hair tight megalithic walls like at Sagse Human around Peru. It's the ones that they still will present, you know, Brian Foresters and everybody else will still present in the entire megalithic community as also being polygonal. I just want to show you, maybe even convince you that this is nothing but natural cracking from nothing more than just frost and earthquakes and just poor production of concrete and just weathering over time and even subduction, you know, of the soil, maybe they didn't pour enough foundation concrete and it's just natural cracking is what I'm getting at, alright? I will carry on pointing out what I've circled here in red because I can come back to the point I've just made at any point in this video because on the right hand side, on this image anyway we can see, and this is bearing in mind that archaeologists have been to this site like any other site and they will have uh, reconstructed it you know to the best knowledge that they're given so but I noticed on the side of this this large block on the corner wasn't cracked probably meaningless to you but it's not meaningless to me so this image proves that it cracked in the same way that this entire wall is cracking okay throughout this entire video all these walls are just natural cracks is my point and why this is still a thing goes towards the archaeologists just know nothing about construction you could never build anything like this and put something like a roof on top of it because it would just crumble away in no time. It's ridiculous, people. You can even see where every single crack lines up perfectly, right? You can see where it's even starting to crack now. A lot of people will say, well, yeah, because they shape it that way. They've been carving it away from some quarry site somewhere. None of it's come from a quarry. It's, it's rendering. The area that I pointed out there it looks to be about three inch thick. This site here is a lot harder to work out. The red lines I drew in, I couldn't tell if it was from, let's say, rebar or some type of wiring, maybe just to hold it back. It could just be natural cracks again. Now, the uniform blocks which are on, along the top could also be behind what we're looking at at the bottom because that could also be a rendering. It's just been smashed back at some point in history and the higher part has just fallen away from the wall but I lean towards it just being natural cracking again from frost and earthquakes and subduction. If you look at the creases on the edge of these blocks here, you can see that these were once only sacks of lime, concrete, right? The lime that goes into concrete, there's no sand or anything else added to this, right? So it's not exactly worth using. It's not of a good quality, just like these here. Now you can see the natural cracking around these blocks. Another way out this can all come about is just from poor quality construction. Bad methods of mixing concrete. There's different levels of it. You just get a different team on a different part of the wall and it just crumbles away a lot faster. Seems to make sense to me. This site here is going to be a lot harder for many of you. But I know I said I wasn't going to get into the polygonal blown out type sheet like you get in Peru. I'm not even sure where this site is. I think it's the only one I have not named here. But the polygonal ones at the back, they would say is from a different civilization, but it is indeed made from the exact same material. It's very soft actually. And you seem to get this lattice work at the front, which is all fallen apart. Archaeologists have played with it. I think it's some type of lattice and groove work, right? And then the larger blocks at the back are just natural cracks. But they were throwing that down the wall, or they built the lattice work around it. Which is a bit different to this area here. The lattice that I'm pointing out, uh, because we can see the block on the top left hand corner. So this thing's pretty thick, so I'd say the lattice that I'm pointing out on the front is how they were able to layer something over it, like a rendering. 
anyway just take two minutes to look at the rest of the sites I'm going to show you here and I might get back to you towards the end thank you I didn't really want to get into showing you again the difference between what I deem to be petrified wood, how most of these sites were built. I will leave some links either on the end of this video or the description on videos I've put out in the past where I was proving this. At least with sites like this one anyway, uh, this would be about how they would have looked originally and then they just got covered over and they end up being mounds. An archaeologist tell us that uh, they were mound builders, they were just building mounds for some stupid reason. Anyway people, if you like that ladies and gentlemen and you want to help the channel moving forward you can press on the link in a pinned comment which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.